Thank you very much, Mr. Francesca. And a good morning to you all. On behalf of the Electoral Commission of Ghana, I warmly welcome all of you to this meeting today. Indeed, this is the day the Lord has made, and we rejoice and we are glad in it. Our meeting here this morning is to provide you with an update of progress made towards the cleaning of the Provisional Voters Register and to receive your inputs, which we believe will further enhance the credibility of the Provisional Voters Register. As part of the Commission's efforts to ensure transparency and accountability in all its processes, we have decided that this meeting and all subsequent IPAC meetings will be covered by the media. It is important to note at the very onset of today's meeting that we have made significant progress towards cleaning the Provisional Voters Register and ridding it of discrepancies since it was first exhibited in all 40,000 plus exhibition centers across the country. Over the last few weeks, the Commission has employed, tried and tested legal and administrative processes to clean the provisional register and rid it of discrepancies as envisaged by the framers of the 1992 Constitution and CI-91 as amended by CI-126. As a Commission, we can confidently state that most of the discrepancies discovered to date have been resolved. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last few weeks, there have been discussions in the public space as to the credibility or otherwise of the Provisional Voters Register. The largest opposition party, the NDC, has alleged that the discrepancies they have detected with the Provisional Voters Register make it unfit for the 2024 election. They have in this regard called for a forensic audit of the Provisional Voters Register. It is important to note that the discrepancies initially identified in the Provisional Voters Register cut across all regions. Assertions that the discrepancies in the Provisional Voters Register are aimed or were aimed at disenfranchising voters in certain parts of the country are untrue. That said, we have cleaned up the Provisional Voters Register and corrected all discrepancies identified to date. Ladies and gentlemen, following a meeting called at the instance of the NDC to discuss the discrepancies dis detected by the party, the NDC presented the Commission with five categories of issues they had identified with the Provisional Register. At the meeting, they highlighted a few examples of each category. Following this, the Commission requested the full data from the NDC with the assurance that it would investigate the data presented and present and provide a report of its findings to the NDC within a week. The Commission went on to assure the NDC that the issues they had presented to the Commission were the typical issues that usually arise from any voter registration exercise and which found expression in the Provisional Voters Register. The Commission explained at the meeting that the very essence of the exhibition exercise was to unearth discrepancies such as those detected by the NDC. That notwithstanding, we requested the data for the sole purpose of addressing each issue case by case in order to allay the fears of the NDC and put them at rest. Unfortunately, we have not received the data and the debate as to the credibility or otherwise of the Provisional Voters Register has continued. It is for this reason that the Commission felt it necessary to hold this IPAC meeting 
in order to present all parties with an opportunity to present any issues they may have detected with the provisional voters register. Additionally, the meeting will afford the Commission the opportunity to present its report on the revisions made to the provisional voters register to date. It is important to exercise, to emphasize that the register in question is a provisional one. As its name suggests, it is a draft. It is not the final voters register. It is not perfect and it is not final. Regulation 23 and 24 of the Public Elections Registration of Voters Regulations 2016 CI91 as amended by CI126 and join the Commission to display the provisional register at all exhibition centers nationwide to allow for an inspection and revision and correction where necessary. This and other legal and administrative processes are carried out before a final register is produced. Indeed, CI 91 recognizes that the provisional voters register is a draft register. Cognizant of the fact that a provisional voters register is bound to contain discrepancies, CI 91 instituted the mechanism of the exhibition exercise to allow for the cleaning and revision of the provisional voters register to ensure that it is credible and robust for an election. The register is thus displayed in all polling stations or exhibition centers and via electronic media to allow for its inspection and correction where necessary. In essence, the exhibition exercise as enshrined in the constitutional instrument provides the legal basis to clean the provisional register. Ladies and gentlemen, you agree with me that as with any human endeavor, such as the registration of voters, there are bound to be discrepancies. One cannot expect that a provisional register will be perfect. It is for that reason that Regulation 23 and 24 of CI 91 provide clear, well-defined pathways to cure and deal with likely anomalies that are bound to arise from the provisional voters register, including missing names, errors in biographical data, the existence of diseased persons on the register, incorrect designation of polling stations, among others. These are some of the issues which formed part of the NDC's presentation to the Electoral Commission. As stated earlier, these errors are not unusual. They are the typical errors that arise out of any registration process, and they are age-old legal and administrative processes to correct them. All it takes is a conscientious effort and time, and the Electoral Commission has employed both. As a commission, we have devoted the last few weeks to correct the discrepancies, and you will find that the provisional voters register today is different and more accurate than what was exhibited and provided to the parties in August 2024. It is important to note that the Commission in cleaning the Provisional Voters Register employed a rigorous four-pronged approach as follows. Voters who visited our exhibition centers and who viewed their details via electronic media and detected errors with their details visited our district offices and had their issues rectified. Our exhibition offices in all our 40,000 plus exhibition centers scrutinized the register and reported discrepancies for correction by our IT team. Our field staff, namely our district officers and our regional officers, 
relied also on the register viewer, that is a soft copy of the register on their machines to scrutinize the register and correct discrepancies. Our IT staff also utilized the register viewer to scrutinize the register and correct discrepancies. This approach has been very effective in helping to clean the register and rid it of discrepancies. As mentioned earlier, the discrepancies detected to date have been largely corrected. And the register that was presented to parties in early August is very different from what we have today. For the records, this same approach was adopted by the Commission prior to the production of the final voters register in 2020, and it worked effectively. Evidence shows that despite concerns raised about the effectiveness of that 2020 register to deliver a credible election, there were no voters who were denied the opportunity to vote during the 2020 election. This is the same approach we have adopted to clean the 2024 Provisional Voters Register, and we have no doubt that it will deliver the same outcome, namely a credible and robust final voters register ahead of the 2024 election. As the body mandated by Article 45A of the 1992 Constitution to compile the register of voters and to revise it at such periods as may be determined by law, we urge you all to trust us to perform our functions as enshrined in the Constitution. The Commission has a track record and is globally respected for delivering free, fair, credible, and transparent elections and electoral processes. And this includes the compilation of the Provisional Voters Register. Our staff are well trained and have the capacity and the competencies as well as the skills to undertake the task of producing a final and credible voters register. We certainly do not require external assistance in our line of work. By way of information, there exist legal and administrative processes that we follow from the registration exercise until the final voters register is produced. Right after the registration exercise, we institute what we call the district registration review committees who sit in all districts to hear challenge cases presented by the citizenry. And we have the political parties, traditional authority, the security agencies as part of this committee and they sit in every district. We have one in every district and the composition as I mentioned includes representatives of the political parties. Following that we go to what we call the adjudication process and this also involves the political parties who adjudicate on persons who are brought up by the IT systems and for a determination to be made as to whether they undertook multiple registrations or not. Here again, we have representatives of the political parties who work with the commission to establish the rules and to take the decisions concerning these persons who are unearthed. Then we go to the exhibition of the provisional register, and this allows for an inspection and correction of discrepancies. Following that, we have the sittings of the district registration review officers. And these are magistrates appointed by the Chief Justice of Ghana to every district. And they hear and rule on cases, including the objections to persons on the voters register. They then, it is followed by the review and authentication of the magistrates appointed in each of the districts. Following their reviews and rulings on each of the cases, our district officers then implement the decisions of the magistrates. It is followed by a verification of the implementation of these decisions 
by our regional directorate headed by our regional directors. Following that, we then, at the head office, composed a team made up of IT and electoral services who then verify that all the decisions and all the recommendations provided have been fully implemented. It is after this stage that a final voters register is produced. And so you see the processes that we go through to arrive at a final voters register. As we speak, our district offices, officers are implementing the decisions and recommendations of the district registration review officers, that is the magistrates. You will attest to the fact, ladies and gentlemen, from the above narration that the production of a final voters register is a process. It is not a one-time event. Indeed, it does not happen overnight. It takes time from the compilation, from the completion of the registration exercise until the final voters register is produced. As noted earlier, our district officers are currently implementing the decisions of the magistrates. And this process will be followed by a verification and an audit of the provisional register by our regional staff, followed by our head office team. I'd like to state at this point that these processes have not been exhausted. And it is a position of the commission that the call for a forensic audit is therefore premature. Ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of transparency and accountability, the commission will in the coming days re-exhibit the provisional voters register online. We have developed an online platform to allow voters review their registration details at no cost to the voter. Additionally, we will provide a time period within which voters will be able to report on any discrepancies they have with their registration details in the districts where they registered and have them resolved. The idea to allow a second exhibition of the provisional voters register is part of our efforts to open up our processes. Register is robust and accurate for the 2024 election. We urge all voters to review their details and to present any discrepancies they may have to us. This process, we believe, will certainly guarantee a further cleaning of the register. In the coming days, the Commission will allow the time frame within which voters can submit their discrepancies or the discrepancies they detect with their details. And we reiterate that voters will be able to check these details free of all charges. As a further step towards transparency, the Commission will also provide all the political parties with copies of the revised Provisional Voters Register. The political parties will have the opportunity to review the revised Provisional Voters Register and report any discrepancies they may find with the register.